I love this recipe and it's so easy to do. It's great during the spring and summer months, especially during Lent. But first, let's make a tri-colored quinoa to complement this dish. I'm preheating my pot over medium high heat for about a minute or two. I'm gonna add some oil, then I'm gonna add some green onions, some asparagus tips, and some orange bell pepper. And we'll give it a saute for about one minute or two to bring out the color and to get the cooking process going. Boy, it smells good already. But instead of just using regular water, I mix it 50-50 with chicken stock and we'll add it to the pot and wait for it to start simmering. And as we wait for that simmer, we're gonna add a pinch of salt, a little fresh cracked pepper, and a pat of butter. Now that we got a simmer going, we're gonna add our quinoa. Stir it in, put on the lid, move it to a burner on low. And in the meantime, let's enjoy a glass of wine. This Alamos Malbec hails from the Mendoza region of Argentina. The vineyards lie in the foothills of the Andes Mountains, where the intense sunlight and pure snowmelt water of the Andes embody the richness of this rugged, remote region. This wine displays flavors of dark cherry and blackberry with a long, lingering finish. This wild Alaskan cod comes from the cold, pristine waters of the North Pacific. It's all natural, low in calories, high in protein, and delicious. We're gonna heat our pan over medium-high heat for at least one minute, very important for sauteing. You must start with a hot pan. In the meantime, we're gonna season both sides with some kosher salt and some fresh cracked pepper. Next, we're gonna add some oil to our skillet and swirl the coat well. Add our fillets. In the meantime, we're gonna wash and rinse that plate so you never put cooked product on the same plate where you had raw. Now, a cod cooks quick. After about one minute, we'll go ahead and give it a turn to the second side. And you'll see where it's already starting to flake. And after about a minute and a half, on the second side, we'll be moved and place on our clean plate. Now we're gonna wipe out that same pan and we'll add some more oil, swirl the coat, and we'll add our diced shallot. Now we're not gonna brown the onions, we're just gonna cook them over medium heat for about a minute to open them up. Then we're gonna add our stir bar Sauvignon Blanc. Now we'll simmer to reduce the wine by half. Now that our wine's reduced and those flavors are concentrated, we'll add our heavy cream. And our herbs. For a lot more flavor profile, I'm using this Gourmet Garden Italian herbs. They're real organic herbs and last for weeks in your refrigerator. Now we'll taste and then correct the seasoning with a little more kosher salt. A little fresh cracked pepper. Remove from the heat and finish with an acid, whether it be white wine vinegar or in our case, a little lemon juice. Let's eat. The perfect wine for this dish is the Starborough Sauvignon Blanc. 
These grapes are grown in the world-renowned Marlboro region of New Zealand, where 77% of the nation's grapes are grown. This Sauvignon Blanc delivers all the refreshing citrus aroma and lively acidity that characterizes the Marlboro region. The layer texture and long crisp finish cleanses the palate and really highlights this dish. If you're a beer lover, here's two that pair great with this dish. This Leinenkugel Summer Shandy is a crisp wheat beer brewed with natural lemonade. It has a crisp citrus lemon flavor and is high in carbonation, so it really cleanses the palate and begs for more and more. Leinenkugel brews a myriad of beers, but this one says summertime. Another great beer for this dish is the Oscar Blues Dale's Pale Ale. It's brewed with hefty amounts of European malts and four kinds of American hops. It delivers a blast of hop aromas, a rich metal of malt and hops, and a thrilling finish. It's very refined and not too bitter like most IPAs. Enjoy!